Over the last two years, we have had so many supply chain disruptions. I would actually say it's been a perfect storm. We're seeing an increase in severe weather events globally. We are seeing more and more geopolitical tensions. We have always been designing supply chain network for being just in time. And now we have to move from just in time to just in case. As we invest in new technologies, our goal really is to have end-to-end -end visibility throughout the supply chain. We have taken a multifaceted approach, risk management and then the resiliency management. Risk is typically is a reactive approach. Resiliency is a proactive approach. We are working directly with engineering. We're giving them information upfront when they're developing products. What parts we should be using, what parts are going end of life, what parts are old technology. We're actually able to get down to a very specific level, all the way down to a component part number level. So let's say uh, I buy a part which is 10 cents, but it is actually going into a hundred million dollar revenue product line. So a 10 cent part can bring a hundred million dollar revenue down. So if there is any mitigation actions required, we know what node in the supply chain that we need to adjust in order to mitigate any potential risk. We always go with the strategy of be local to the customer. Develop a supply chain network that supports North America. Develop a supply chain network that supports Europe. We also are looking into you know, alternative sources so that we can quickly swap parts if there's a risk event and ensure that our customers remain connected. So we're able to do this across the globe in every country that we operate. We had an earthquake in August of last year. Within eight hours, we were able to identify every OEM impacted, every semiconductor impacted, and within 24 hours, we were able to notify all of our OEMs and we had a solution to keep supply connected for these customers. Typically, you know, across the industry, that would take us one to two weeks before we could react and get back to our customers. I would say the challenges are going to continue. It's just that how do you adapt and be agile in responding to those challenges? What we're doing today is preparing us to make sure that no matter what comes at us, we'll be able to react. The digital twin isn't something off the shelf. This is actually something that we built internally, specified to our active needs. We look forward to sharing this capability with our customers, our suppliers, and investors.